Hi, I'm Nicole Laura, Little Miss USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and I'm here with... Chef David, the community chef. Hi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Uh, yeah, so uh, you can find me on Instagram, the community chef, O-R-L. Um, I cook for a lot of events like this. We're here with the WeFam organization today. Uh, I love providing food for the community. That's how I show and share my love with people is through food. Uh, I've been cooking ever since I was probably about your age and uh, eventually turned it into a business. And as soon as I did that, I decided to give back by making sure that I uh, helped out with as many community events as I could. Wow. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so this is our second Saturday feeding that we do with uh, WeFam here in, uh, uh, off of Forest City Road. Uh, we also do, um, I help out with uh, the last Sunday of every month with uh, One Heart Organization. Um, and I've also done some stuff with WeFam out on, on the other coast, uh, out in California. So anything I can get my hands in uh, when I do cooking classes or cooking demonstrations, I, I try to have them associated with a nonprofit that can benefit from that so that when other people eat, uh, the people that need to eat can do so also. I take um, cooking class and I cook with my dad. Yeah? Yeah. I cook with my daughter too. It's like our favorite thing in the world that we get to share. Yeah. I do it with my dad and my mom every time. What's your favorite thing to cook? Um, banana bread. Banana bread? That's a pretty good one. I don't know how to make banana bread. I make Puerto Rican food mostly. But I cook all kinds. My favorite thing to probably make, though, even though my specialty is Puerto Rican food, is Italian food. Anything with a tomato sauce, right? Oh, so yummy. How do we get in touch with you? Uh, the easiest way is on Instagram uh, nowadays. So uh, Community Chef ORL for Orlando, Community Chef ORL. Um, or you can uh, give me a call if you need uh, my services, either as a private chef or to cater, um, or to do uh, office lunch, anything of that nature, uh, 407-496-6596. Thank you, Shine Lake Star, you are. Thank you. I'm Nicole Lort, Little Miss USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and I'm here with... Dylan from Community Pros. Hi, can I tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Hi, uh, well, I'm Dylan. I help organize with a lot of nonprofit organizations and help uh, athletes get involved to make a difference in the community. Can you tell um, more about that? Yeah, uh, I've worked with a big variety of players such as Chris Johnson, Jamile Weeks from the Oakland A's. Uh, today we're actually doing a feed-in with him, so it's our second annual one. We're doing this the second Saturday of the month, so it's a great thing to come on out and always nice to see athletes giving back to the community. Wow, um, can you tell us a little bit more? Sure, I mean, I love doing this. I've been doing this since my senior year in high school, and uh, nonprofits have just always been my passion and focus, and I really want to help get, uh, make a difference in the community. Wow, um, how can we get in touch with you? Uh, you can reach out to me on Instagram, uh, Community Pros, uh, just felt like it sounds, and otherwise, just reach out directly. It's uh, really easy to get in contact. I respond to everything on Community Pros Instagram, so do that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nicole Laura, Little Miss USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and I'm here with... Pastor Valeria McMillan. Hi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yes, I am a pastor. I'm a traveling evangelist. I speak, I pastor... Uh, we shepherd people, we do outreach ministry, we feed, we clothe, uh, reaching many souls in the community, and we spread the word around, and we have services here, right here on these grounds, God's House Ministries. So I'm a woman of God who spread the news about Jesus. Wow. Um, well... Can you tell us a little bit more about that? About Jesus? Wow. Well, he is the good news. And we want everybody to know that he's a healer. He's a deliverer. Whatever you need, you can call on the name of Jesus, and he'll make a way for you. And we just want people to know there is a better life, a better way, when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. He can make things better for you because we really can't do 
anything without him. Only we can do good with him. And that's what I do. I'm just a servant that delivers the message. Amen. And I'm glad to be here with you, little Miss uh, Reporter. You're awesome. Little Miss USA, like I'm sorry, Porter. Yes, you, Little Miss USA. You're awesome. What you're doing is a great job. And it's helping people. It's getting the word out. It's, it's showing people your talent. And I'm so grateful to be able to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you. How can we get in touch with you? Well, you can contact us at uh, the phone number is God's House Ministry, 7018 Forest City Road. The phone number is 407 758 3176. Also, you can touch us on Facebook. We're also on Facebook under uh, Pastor Valeria McMillan. You can also look up the church's name, God's House Ministries of Orlando Incorporation. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Give Turn a like a star you are. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole Lord. Little Miss USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and I'm here with... Ricky Weeks. Hi, can Pink. you... Hi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yes, um, I've been in Florida. I was born in New Jersey, Marstown, New Jersey. I call that the home of the United States because that's where George Washington planned all the battles for the Revolutionary War. And went to school at Seton Hall, transferred from their baseball program down here to Stetson, played baseball uh, under Pete Dunn, and... Uh, Transferred from there and went to University of Central Florida and graduated in 1984. And I raised three kids, uh, Ricky, Jamal, Kaisha, and Jordan, actually four. She came along a lot later. But nevertheless, uh, my two sons play Major League Baseball, first round draft picks. And then my daughter is now the head coach at Oviedo High School, coaching track. And my youngest daughter, she's uh, in junior cheerleading, and she's away doing calisthenics and preparation and competition. I always wanted to be the cheerleader. Oh, you did? Hey, it's a good sport, and it's growing. So many girls are taking on cheerleading, but it's good for you, too, because it keeps you healthy and strong for the long run. I do have pom-poms at home. Oh, you do? Ah, well, I'm not too good with the pom-poms, but I've centered most of my life around the baseball bat, training my kids, and I have other kids that I've trained. Actually, there's nine kids that I've trained to be professional baseball players. Two of them are major league players, my two sons, and uh, one of them is an all-star, and that's my oldest son, Ricky, is a major league baseball all-star, and he's going to retire this year. Wow, how do we get in touch with you? Well, you can reach me on a website because I work with my son, Jamal. It's called WeFam United, and his website is wefam.org. And then you can see some of the things that I've done, how I've helped in the community, how I've helped kids play baseball, and how I've helped kids get in college. And this year we're going to run a summer camp that goes from June the 3rd I'm sorry, it's going to yeah, it's going to go from June the 3rd to August the 2nd. And we're going to teach kids how to play baseball, and we're going to tutor them also in reading and math skills so their skills stay up when they return back to school. When is it? Um, we're going to do it this summer, and we're going to use the grounds that you were on today, um, eating and riding bikes. We're going to use those grounds to run a baseball camp. And inside this building here, we're going to do reading and math skills so that they can keep up with their grades and academics when they return back to school. Nice. Um, where is it? Well, it's going to be here. It's going to be here. We're going to do it right here at the church, on the church grounds. And then some of the places we're going to take them to, like right up the street, we have a nice, we call it a batting cage area. And we're going to take the kids there to teach them how to hit. 
So they'll, they'll go to a place called All-Star Sports Complex, and it's right up the street, and they're going to go there and learn how to hit. And then there's another place called LeBron's Hitting Cages, and we're going to use that because we may have a lot of kids, so we don't want to flood them out up here with just one cage, but we're going to split them up and use two cages to learn how to hit. Wow. You have a tip for the world? Share to the world? Yes, I think the tip is, or the word is, always have a work ethic to reach the goals that you desire to reach in your heart. And I think if you have a work ethic about those goals, God will bless you to reach those goals because you are committed to accomplish what you're working on. We can do so much, but God has to do the rest. God is our hero. Yes, it, yes, ma'am. He is our hero. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. I think this world would have been destroyed with, with the bad people that was before us. I think God said would have said enough is enough and then pull the curtain on everything. But he has mercy and he has grace. So he's letting us continue and he's hoping that we get everything right and treat everybody right. God is inside us. Yes, he is. Always inside. That's how we carry him in our heart so that we can share it with everybody else that we meet. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's how we do it. I like that. That's how we do it. <laughs> Thank you. How old Shan are you? F um, I'm five. Five? And you're interviewing at five? Oh, wow. You're going to be a good one. Oh, you do modeling too? Oh, wow. You're going to be a good one. You're starting early, and you're going to learn so much wisdom starting early. It's you're going to be amazing by the time you get to my age. You're going to be incredible. I can see that already. Yeah. I am I'm gonna go to the basketball thing. Are you? Okay. I like basketball. I went to see the Magic play the other night. Oh yeah. They beat the New York Knicks. It was a pretty good game. Thank you, Sean. Oh, good to see. Thank you. I appreciate Shine it. Shine like a star you are. All right. Hi, I'm Nicole Lohr, Little Miss USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and I'm here with... I'm Jamile Weeks. Hi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yes, I'm a professional baseball player, parts of seven years in the major leagues. Uh, right now, a free agent, also executive director of a nonprofit called WeFam United. And with this nonprofit, we empower at-risk youth and their families through um, education, sports, and the total well-being of the youth and families of the community. Okay, can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, uh, well we work with ages right now 7 through 15. We're doing a summer camp coming soon um, starting June the 2nd going all the way through August the 2nd and with that summer camp we'll be doing math and reading tutoring. We'll also be doing baseball and softball training with innovation programs using computers and iPads um, according to the sports and technology that we have. Okay, how can we get in touch with you? You can reach us. Our Instagram is at wefam underscore org. You can also reach us on our website, www.wefam.org. You can find all the information there and the updates on the extra things that we do as well within the community. Um, and our end of the year Feed the City and Toy giveaway that we do as well, where we feed over a thousand families and children um, and also give out two to three toys to each child as well um, as a notoriety for the organization leading into what we do with the homework assistance and our summer camps. Wow. Um, thank you for having me come and interview you. No problem. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed it. You're welcome. Thank you. Shine like a star you are. <laughs> 